Hi everyone. So today I'm going to be making a quick paella. And for those of you who don't know what a paella is, basically it's just a big um, rice dish that has, uh, let's see, sausage and chicken and all kinds of um, seafood. Um, but this is one of those dishes that you can pretty much mix and match anything you want. Um, you know, seafood wise or meat wise or spice wise or anything of the sort. So what I'm doing is I took a package of, sh of sausage. I'm just going to cut it up like so. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cook this in some oil um, until it's nice and brown and cooked through. This is actually a very, um, this is considered a quick paella, considered to um, the traditional pa paella, which can take a while depending on how much work you actually want to put into it. This recipe came from my grandmother, and actually what I'm doing is I'm going to tweak it a little bit um, compared to what some of the stuff that she has in her uh, recipe. I'm going to subtract a couple things and add a couple things and so on and so forth. But she's got two different recipes. She's got the quick paella, which we're doing today, and then she's got... Um, the original paella, which she says takes a few hours to make. So I'm going to pop this in my... First, I should put some oil in my pan. So I'm going to cook this in some oil. And then, um, I don't know the whole routine, rules and routine thing about cooking with meats and sausage and chicken. But I'm going to take a quick break. I'm going to put I'm going to put this in the oil. Then I'm going to clean my board and my knife. And then when I get back, we're going to do the chicken. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so my sausage is cooking right now in the pot, and it's actually popping away, so it should be ready fairly shortly. And as you can see, I'm cutting up a bunch of chicken here. These are actually um, boneless uh, tender um, um, uh, yeah, chicken tenderloins, breast tenderloins. So <clears throat> I'm just cutting these up into, like, small bite-sized pieces. Um, this papaya, I'm actually adding a lot more chicken than anything because it's just more economical to do that right now. You know, maybe after I win the lottery, I'll start making this with a ton more seafood, but until then, <laughs> we're stuck with more chicken. So, I'm just going to cut these up, and I'm going to add, um, when I take the sausage out and dump some of the oil, I'm just going to throw this right into the same pot. Um, and cook these through, and then I'll show you um, which uh, what vegetables we'll be using. Basically, we're going to be using onion and tomato and garlic, and um, in the end, we're going to be throwing in some peas. Um, as far as my seafood is concerned, I'm going to be obviously I'm going to be adding some shrimp. And then I also got a box of um, mussels that are already draped in garlic and butter. Basically, it's the quick five-minute, um, basically just to heat them through. They've already been cooked and sautéed in some seasoning. Um, so this is just a box that I have to throw either in the microwave or on the stove for about five minutes. I think I'm just going to go ahead and throw it on the stove in a little while. Um, and then obviously you got your rice. So what I'm using is just regular Goya um, yellow rice. But... Again, if you want to take your time and do this, what you would normally do is buy some white rice, cook that with some saffron. But the saffron, from what I understand, is kind of expensive, um, although it does last you a long time. So I just, you know, figure I'll take a shortcut and use yellow rice today. Another idea you could do is either buy white rice with Sazon Goya. Um, they, it's a little red package of powder. Um, it actually comes in a box, I think, of 16 little packets. It's like sugar packets almost. Um, but it's got a beautiful red color. and actually turns your um, your rice into a nice uh, golden orange. Or if you put the more you put, the, you know, the darker it gets. Um, or again, you could just use um, some yellow rice and maybe add the sazon into that. Okay. So I'm going to finish cutting these up. And then I'm going to take them out, take out the sausage, and then add these into the pot. So I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. So um, my chicken is working, and I actually put on the liquids for my rice. And what I did is 
Um, I got this big box. It's actually a three pack of Goya, <clears throat> Spanish rice. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make all three packages because the guys here, they eat a lot of rice. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do is, actually I should say what I did was I took, it calls for two cups of liquid, you know, per package. So what I did was I put four cups of water and I actually did two cups of chicken broth just to give it a little bit more, um, tang to it. So we'll see how that turns out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one onion and I actually have garlic and tomato here. I'll show you how we're going to do that in a second. So let me cut this down. Okay. Now with the onions, you can use any anything you want. White onion, um, yellow onion, the red onion, which I'm using, which I prefer because I just, I don't know, I like the, the, the sweetness that comes out of it when it's cooked. I use this in just about everything. Okay, so we're going to chop this up in some good pieces. Nothing too large, but not too small. Okay, I'm sorry about that. My water, my liquid was boiling, so I had to add my rice and my, uh, actually I added butter in this one. They said, said, you know, add oil or butter or, you know, anything of that sort, so I just added some butter. I'm going to cut, finish cutting these up. Try to do as quick as I can because that's only supposed to boil for another minute and then I have to cut it up. Turn off the heat for the chicken. I'm just going to let that sit for a minute. I have to take it out before I add these onions and the garlic. I'll tell you, these onions are strong today. My goodness. So let me just go cover my uh, rice. All right, so I'm going to add, I'm going to turn on my heat. I'm going to add my onions in. And I can smell that rice cooking. cloves, but since I'm making so much rice, then depending on how big these cloves are, oh yeah, that's a good size. They look good. Okay, so here's a trick that you may or may not know. When you have garlic, you see you have the 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 um, skin on it, and then you got the little parts down here that you know the stem and the roots attached to. What you want to do is you want to take the side of your knife, preferably preferably blade away from you, just put it on top of the garlic, and smash. That'll help break up the the skins. It'll make it so much easier to peel. Uh-oh, we gotta run away. That's not good. I just have to dig out one more. Oh, that one broke completely. Nice. I actually went right into my recycling bin, so I'm gonna find that little sucker in a minute. Okay, let's 
so see how it easy it breaks up all the skin so all you have to do is just peel it off that's all So I got, let's see, I got two large cloves, about eh, three or four medium cloves and a small clove. So basically all I want to do is just give them a good chop. You don't want to mince them too, too much, but you just want to get them to, you know, they're, where they're good and small. Now, if you're a big fan of rice, um, this is so the dish for you. If you're a big fan of chicken and sausage and seafood together, this is a dish for you. If you're a combination eater like I am of all of these, oh yeah, this is so the dish for you. I don't know how long it's been since I had this. I think when... um. And there was a restaurant in the town next over where I grew up called um, Casa Spain. And they made some of the best Spanish dishes. Oh my goodness. Paella. And then there's this one dish I got the few times that I went there because it was very expensive. Um, it was crab stuffed lobster. And oh my goodness, that was the best. Okay. 